important thing that we have to always be mindful is that food is going to create a high level of excitement and Thanksgiving normally is when turkey comes so then the turkey goes in the oven for, for many 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 hours and many people are going to come so I just want you to see it as a matter of excitement a different ex excitement that a dog is not used to yo we're I'm celebrating super Kevin's excited. birthday best birthday ever bro I'm the luckiest guy in the world right now wow <laughs> speechless spectacular habanero cebolla morada purple onion aguacate I'm cooking for Calvin birthday mm -hmm. it's really windy but as a dad you have to make it happen no matter what the situation is <laughs> What's great about Thanksgiving is um, someone came out with the idea that one day we should be thankful, but it should be every single day. So, uh, to me, I'm thankful every single day, but on Thanksgiving, uh, we just emphasize it. Plus, it's, it's also New Year's Calvin's birthday, which is today. So, I'm thankful of the opportunity that God gave me, the opportunity my mother gave me, the opportunity the Mother Nature gave me, opportunity America gave me, opportunity uh, Mexico gave me. I'm thankful for the opportunity of the world. And of course, I'm thankful to, to be able to be a good role model to my kids. You know, I, I really put a lot of effort on achieving my dreams, but uh, at the same time being a great human being, so they know that it's, it's that way. Honesty, integrity, loyalty, trust, respect, love, exercise, discipline, affection, God, family, work, right? So that is something that is very important to me. So I'm grateful that I'm able to teach that as well, live it, and also uh, what I learned from my parents. What we have to understand about any holiday is it's going to be a change of everything. Change of smells, change of sight, change of sound, different family members coming to visit. It's not so much to focus on the tips, such as working a, you know, uh, walking a dog, walking with a dog, um, training a dog, desensitizing a dog, teaching a dog how to be in the treadmill, with a backpack on a dog. That is the number three. The most important thing that we have to always be mindful is that food is going to create a high level of excitement and Thanksgiving normally is when turkey comes so then the turkey goes in the oven for, for many 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 hours and many people are going to come so I just want you to see it as a matter of excitement a different ex excitement that a dog is not used to right so it can be very overwhelming it can be overwhelming and a dog gets too excited that he wants to eat the turkey or it can get overwhelming that the dog gets nervous and he wants to run away and hide because his day just changed for the normal time so it's very most important thing is energy when you address yourself to a dog nose eyes ears calm energy clear direction if it's for him to learn to be on his spot and, and go into a calm surrender state. This is why it's important to understand sometimes uh, the words that I use because what I mean is just for the body to be relaxed and the mind open. So that's what, when I say calm surrender, that's what I mean. So the goal is for our dogs to be happy-go-lucky or calm surrender during any holiday. So to achieve that now is the technique. To achieve that is exercise, mental stimulation, and affection at the right time. And making us your energy, your, your philosophy, and your community. Those three things have to be aligned so your dog understands rules, bound limitations, and thanksgiving. Happy birthday to you! The legendary hat. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is ridiculous. Okay, you gotta blow your candles, but the wind blew them out. Okay, 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 okay. We're okay, good. you ready? Yes.
Alright, ready? Practice on being a host because it helps build confidence. Mm -hmm. I know you have to go through anxiety to be a host because you fear like, oh, I hope everything's enough or I hope I have enough. So it helps you kind of understand structure, right? So structure, uh, you want your house to be clean so it's beautiful and you want things to be where it should be like the chips and dipper right here so it's organized, right? So you have everything categorized, it's organized. Beautiful, structured, clean. If that's something that you feel like you lack in confidence or you feel like you could you want to change something about like oh I, I want to have more social events because COVID has put me back a little bit then practice small first that's the same thing with animals you do things slowly you don't do things to overwhelm them you never want to have a party of 50 when you're still practicing on how to have a party of three right mm -hmm. so three is a crowd right so that should be enough for you to be like okay let me practice this and then move on if it's about dogs and you have people coming over and you're not practicing or you are trying to practice how to host something let's focus on making sure that the animals are attended to before the humans because the humans are easily to be flexible it's no doubt right say hey man you know i won't be able to be there at six i'll be there at 6 15. that's really not much of a difference but that's saying that i have the understanding that you're gonna move back and forth right with the dog you're like well if i'm gonna have people here at six and even if the humans choose to be later I want to have this type of energy, this type of environment, and this type of understanding with my dogs about those people coming into our space. And if we're going to their space, I'm going to do what it takes to make sure that my dog is, or dogs, is calm, yet in a mood to where it's okay to socialize, but never go from zero to like over three, right, out of 10. You want that energy to kind of rise up like, oh, you know, wag your tail, like, hey, how's it going? It's like when you go meet somebody like, hey, I love, nice to see you again, Peter. You give them, a, you know, I give you a hug, you know, put my hand, arm around you, you know, give you like a brother hug. And then that, that should be the level of intensity about it, get, right? Mm -hmm. So if I imagine if I, every time I say hi to you, I come in and just jump on you, like that's a lot, that's a lot every time. So I want to be remember? able to manage and I want to be able to control that. I remember it's okay to be like that oh. between you and I, but it has to be the environment, the, it's the setting type, right? Mm -hmm. So. I, that's, I get myself prepped, my my environment, my life prepped for me to go to your house. And if, in order, it, like what if your parents are strict and they don't allow dogs to be there and I'm trying to make a good impression. I want to have my dogs tired out. I want to make sure that they're going to be able to be receptive to when I give commands, even if it's a simple one like lay down. Because I want to show that your parents, like hey, you know, this is my friend Andre. He has his good control of his dogs. I want you to get more accustomed to having friends that come over with their dogs because I want you to enjoy what we've enjoyed at the ranch. You bring it home, right? So it's my responsibility as a guest, as a host, it's your responsibility. It's my responsibility to do the beautiful structure clean at my spot. That's your responsibility at your spot. So what I say is follow structure, build structure, even if it's for something simple, something small. If you want to make something better of yourself, Start small and then start growing gradually. I, mean, I promise you it'll be easier and easier over time. Then you got your friends coming over with their dogs. So they don't have to leave them at their house and say, hey, I gotta go home. My dog might tear up or my dog might use the bathroom. You have it here. You don't have to worry about that. Then you have a longer time to be with your friends and then that means you're happier. That means your family gets to hang out and be buried. Ha ha, you know, we're not, we're not drinking. No, no, it's fine. We're just, we're enjoying the moment and enjoying being with each other because we have had setbacks through this pandemic. So if I had to say something, my son is 23. Yeah. My son is 23. And he's been wearing this thing since he was 11. And he practically um, went to sleep with it, woke up with it. Uh, no matter where we went, he will dress like this kid right here. We went all over the world dressed like this. He didn't change one time. He changed this thing over and over and over. Hey, but what does is, what is Monkey D. Luffy teach us? Monkey D. Luffy teaches us. You're never too old to have fun. <laughs> And to live in the moment, he's the most instinctual guy I know. <laughs> but you're garb. But you're garb. You're garb. So obviously, I know what he knows. Oh, you know. The upbringing. It's the upbringing. It's just this is our lifestyle. This is this is the closest resemblance to what we really, how we really live. We have animals, different kinds of people, good company. 
There's nothing else you could ask for than a pirate's banquet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.